The number three story that I covered this year was the drought. I visited a number of vineyards in Napa Valley in Sonoma County. They were all dealing with the aftermath of burnt out lands from fires in 2020, and now they were having even harsher dry conditions. Uh, but it also forced them to find better ways to manage their land and use less water. And they also found out that some of the best grapes produced were actually ones that fight to survive. I visited uh, the town of Mendocino in Northern California, which was practically running out of water because their residents all rely on private wells. Uh, you could see signs everywhere uh, urging uh, residents to conserve water. I talked to some residents who said uh, they were taking no more than two minute showers. The city's superintendent in charge of water supply uh, blamed climate change for the extreme conditions. The number two story uh, that I covered this year was big tech under fire. Google, uh, Twitter, Amazon, Apple, Facebook all found themselves dragged before Congress uh, to discuss how they handle the spread of disinformation and misinformation and also uh, inflammatory and politicized content. Uh, that story heightened when whistleblower Frances Haugen uh, leaked thousands of internal documents from Facebook. She was a former product manager there. Uh, those, the Facebook papers, as they were called, shed light on how the company knew of some of these issues and especially uh, how they were looking at the damage to uh, society and negative impacts on teen mental health. The top story that I covered this year was the rise in Asian hate. Uh, the San Francisco Bay Area, which includes Oakland too, uh, experienced numerous cases, uh, some uh, which led to the hospitalization and even death of elderly residents of Asian descent. Uh, but it also led to something positive, communities from different ethnicities joining together in solidarity to say that enough is enough. Uh, that also led to one of the most interesting moments that occurred while I was covering a story. In fact, I was looking into the rise of crime in San Francisco's Chinatown. Uh, while I was doing an interview with an owner of a fortune cookie shop, we were actually interrupted by a tourist who said that he had been uh, harassed and yelled at and threatened by some man claiming that he was a police officer. Uh, we had to stop the interview to hear his story and immediately contact police. That led to a further discussion between the shop owner and police about the safety of businesses and their customers in the area and how it was damaging to both businesses and the reputation of the city.